Hi and welcome to another video from Codrefi.io. We will continue our series where we're going to discuss uh, cloud storage and also enhance the user experience with Firestore. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to in profile picture and update profile picture to the user. Also move the couple fields from the authentication authenticated user to uh, cloud Firestore. So we start first by PuppySpec, where we're going to install two packages. One is called Fire the Cloud uh, Firebase Storage, and the other one is Image Picker. That will help us to upload images uh, from the file system of the device. So we create a file called Profile Picture. This will be only for the uh, profile picture itself and how we can upload it and also do the all uh, related. Uh, tasks related to profile picture but first we need also to go and enable cloud storage from firebase in order to do that we would need to go to storage here for example you see i already initiated and then you just click on create and this will be set up the same region that you already set a firebase cloud store and from that from there what you can do is also create a folder like what i did here and we i called it profile images later we will refer to this folder to save our pictures here for example you can see i already uploaded one and it is already giving a name uh, i mean giving a random id to that image that will be enough uh, for the usages but what you can do also go to the rules and enable this one to be uh, only for authenticated users for my testing purposes i keep this to allow read write but for you you need to enable this only for authenticated user so the first thing that we need to create a new reference to our users in that case i will just call this uh, users and here we will call it users reference this users ref reference collection is not created in firebase so we need also to make sure in the uh, firebase storage that you created a user reference you can fill it with any data with any document for in the beginning and then when we go to profile picture we will refer to you firebase users to update the current users here there are a couple fields that we need to bring first is the image url and here i'm using a placeholder and that's in the uh, in the beginning if the user doesn't have any image then this will be showing until the user try to uh, update the image i also brought some variable progress this is will have handle when you start uploading the image the user id will be used multiple times so i thought it will be better to have it here now since we are using stateful widgets we can also bring in its state and that's in its state will instantiate first method that will return uh, the user data this method is meant to be to called initially to update the user data and also to bring the current photo or current picture of cloud firestore because that means that the image is already created and uploaded to firestore so the first thing is we will bring the user uh, user data and here we are going to check if they both surface as before and here we say if the user data is exist then we assign the user id to it you can also use instead of using get you can also make use of listen that will get you real-time data what's really happening here but for us this will be initially called and we don't really need to listen to any changes later on so basically if the if the snapshot is okay then we what we try to uh, we check if the snapshot is exist which means if the data is exist we take the data and we uh, check if the image url inside that inside firestore then we assign the image url to it and that will be enough to call the image and also uh, to assign the image and also to show initially 
So let's build our stack here. What we need to try to do is actually to make gesture uh, detector and that gesture detector has on tap where we are we're going to uh, instantiate on picker or actually we can call it pick image. So for now I will just create this. We make it a pick image but we will come back later to it. Here is the idea is that to have a gesture detector around it by the image and then whenever we click on it we will try to pick the image which is actually the method that we're going to discuss later and then uh, we have a stack where we have a container around it and then also in check we if there is a progress then we show progress inside that uh, rounded image otherwise we are showing and also otherwise we will show the icon there is one uh, two uh, couple steps that we want to do to, to the pick image first we need to set a progress to true that makes sense because we are going to open a file uh, system and so in that case we are going to upload the image so we send it to true and then we are going to check if the user id is empty then we return this because at that point we don't want to initiate or start the flow of uploading the image so the next step is to bring the fi picker uh, picked file and this will open the picker to pick an image and it, we will ret uh, we will ask it to check from gallery and from the device the next thing we're going to check if the picked file is not null then we make a new file and that will bring file io uh, or uh, dart io to import it and then we put the path of the picked file here inside this variable after that we will make a file name and that will be by pick the file split it on uh, the slash and we take the last one we the other thing is that also we will bring the destination and that destination will actually be the profile images in the cloud the cloud storage as I discussed here and then we put the file name here so the next step is to take firebase storage instance and reference to destination and put the file in it that's a step or that's after that we can get the downloaded URL so this URL is, a, is generated by firebase uh, cloud storage and give us uh, where it's located inside firebase so we take the download URL from Firebase Storage by uh, getting good download URL. Once we have this download URL, we can use it and we can set a state to download URL here and we set the progress to false. The last step is actually to uh, sign this to Firebase users reference. So here we get into a document by user ID and we ask it to update the image URL by this downloaded URL is also to make sure that we set the progress to false in case if it's not set and we also make sure that this one is closed so for that our profile picture file is already done now we just need to make sure this working fine in our in our profile screen so we're going to place this in the columns here in the children after the size box we are going to uh, place the profile picture and that actually will be uh, just a matter of bringing the row and then a profile picture and uh, we put this as a type of children since we already having a firebase a firestore collection of users so we don't really need to rely on the uh, display name from the authentication or neither from the phone number because uh, the phone number can be also taken a while to verify and it will be a long process so we, you can, we can rely on users data also from Firestore to save this in order to do that we need to go inside our uh, init state and we will make a listen to firebase uh, store collection user so what we're going to do we said we can say get user data and that will be future type of a future as always uh, where we have to get the user and then we make, uh, make sure to wait for the current user 
and then if the user is not equal to no then we also need to assign it to here so what we can do is also make user uh, reference user id reference and then if it's uh, not no we can just set the state to user id here why because we need to reuse it again so it makes sense to keep it there now the other thing is that you can use the uh, the fields to assign the values that coming from the fire store but for me i don't want to use it here I I'll, I'll, instead i will uh, assign it something else so what i will going to do is actually bring firebase surface and then users reference and take the document by the user id or i can also use user id here uh, as like this and we take the snapshot and we, then we listen to the data so if the data is there then we just need to assign uh, you can use it also as i said to assign it here but for me as i can i can also use it inside uh, another field when when we called it a name another field also i will call it phone number so these are fields in from firestore that we will retrieve and assign it to our data so let's create this now when we go to when we go inside our data here so what we we have a future builder related to the authenticated user and we can display here for so for the name we can display instead the name that we are getting from uh, firebase also for the phone number we can also take this and print the phone number that we get but we will keep the email that's coming from uh, the user so we don't really need to sign it here and there is also one thing that we need to take care of when we have the update profile so right now when we have update profile we are getting the user and then we asking if the user display uh, update display name which is actually going to the authentication instead of firestore and updating the display name so we can keep this functionality but we need to re refer to cloud firestore to update the name also and phone number so in that case we can wait to firebase and surface we can call users reference and to update the name and phone number whatever comes from the field in that case we are making sure that authentication and the uh, cloud firestore users collection is actually updated with the same data and in the end we will have something like this so we get the first image is uploaded by a random ID and then if we go to uh, Firestore and we go to users the ID of the user is the same ID that is related to here and it is the same ID that authenticated user and then we have image URL which is actually the image generated by Firebase and saved here and then we have also the name and the phone number to give you more uh, info so for example if i open this this will load the data as it is and then if we go to here it should it should show the profile picture and it show the icon here now when we go call update profile then we can ask it to update more so let's try to update it to so let's save this and you can see it's already updated and here it's also is already updated because we used listen which is taking real time data now let's also we can see this is from the authentication if the phone number is not invalid then it will be thrown here because we used a verify phone here and this is will return us let me make, let me maybe do it like this this will actually uh, show the snake bar that the provider phone is invalid now to update the uh, picture you can see the loading first and this will give us access to whatever here and this will be uh, set and you can see it's already uh, set to the uh, as a profile picture I will just go to here and then set this again and it will set here if I go to storage I should see two images this means that 
Firebase is uh, smart enough to understand that the second picture should not be uploaded because it is the same uh, picture that is already saved there. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next video.